So we're going to start off the vlog with Chinatown. Dr. Sun Yat-sen Garden is actually the very first Chinese garden built outside of China and opened in 1986. The plants here were actually chosen according to their blossom schedule in order to emphasize the seasonal changes. And this garden was actually named in honor of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, who was a national leader considered the father of modern China. And again, the background was a little too loud, so please bear with my voiceover. Remember the C bus I showed you guys in one of the previous video? Well, we're just about to get on it. And as mentioned before, the C bus is a passenger only ferry that connects downtown Vancouver and North Vancouver. They might look a little small, but these ferries can actually seat up to 400 people. And what you're seeing now is North Vancouver. And it only takes about 12 minutes to cross over. And now back to South Vancouver, getting off at Science World Station. And this place actually looks a lot more beautiful than night. So here we are in Vancouver's Rose Garden and I swear to you, if you are Tamil and you have your daughter's pu puberty ceremony or you're, you're, you're getting married soon, this will be the perfect place to take your concept video. Look how beautiful this is. There's like so many different types of flowers and roses around here. Beautiful colors. It's just a place to be. Queen Elizabeth Park, known as Vancouver's horticultural jewel. It's actually located 152 meters above sea level and it's the highest point in Vancouver. The very famous Stanley Park. Basically the same skyline, just in different angles. And of course I don't need to tell you guys what this is, but I will anyways for those of you that don't know and are too lazy to go and Google it. These are called totem poles. This is actually located at uh, Stanley Park. And this here is English Bay Beach. Well, from a distance. And then this guy, in the middle of nowhere. I wonder how long it took him. Granville Island. This is a shopping district which used to be an industrial manufacturing area, but now it's a big part of Vancouver's tourism and entertainment. Did you guys know that Vancouver used to be called Granville? And then it was renamed in 1886. Yeah, you're welcome. You learn something new every day.
day I wish upon a star Wake up where the clouds are far behind Me, where trouble melts like lemon drops High above the chimney tree line I called her uncle in Jamaica Left a message with the baker Even checked her number in the telephone book Yeah, then I got so awfully worried To my baby's house I hurried When I looked inside, phone was off the hook Busy kissing someone else While I was keeping busy getting a <laughs> Vancouver's Entertainment District. I actually love this place. So much life here. Well, I guess the nightlife is great in any city. And to be honest, I don't even know what I'm blabbing about here. I guess I just want to look cool throwing my hands around. And it's very likely I'm just singing an alphabet or something. Hmm. Oh, but here I know what I'm saying. Let's go check this place out. So here I am at Lynn Canyon Park and this over here is called Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. Honestly, I expected something a lot longer, a lot steeper and scarier, but this didn't seem so bad. So let's start walking. And I honestly, all these days, sorry, go ahead. I was actually very lucky for the past three, four days that it didn't rain and today was the, the day that I was hoping that it wouldn't rain, but unfortunately it is. It's okay, gotta make the best of it. I mean, you're in Vancouver after all, you can't really expect it to not rain. Uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, I did not expect it to be this easy. Okay, maybe not, it's a little, a little scarier. And these were not the best shoes to wear, but you know, when you're on vacation, you can't really pack everything, right? There's a dog coming! Oh, no, 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 no. So many odd looking trees here, I swear. So many. Like, have you ever seen something like this in Toronto? What is this? I don't want to touch it. It could be poison. But it's very pretty. I had to switch to a big umbrella because the little kid was crying. And look at this one. It's disgusting. I wonder how old these trees are too. This is a very interesting looking plant. And as you can see, this park is huge and it just keeps going and going and going. Oh, also very romantic. So, hi, video camera. <laughs> Going on YouTube! <laughs> Remember that place I showed you guys at Queen Elizabeth where I should get proposed? I think our proposal should start right here, go for a romantic walk and then take me to Queen Elizabeth, go to a nice lunch or dinner and then get proposed. Okay, yep, that happened. I filmed a crow. Well, in my defense, we don't have crows in Toronto.
willing to. <laughs> I actually have two cars over there giving me light. How awesome is that? Really sweet of them to turn on their cars and <laughs> put the light over here. And I have a whole bunch of people willing to record and stand here on guard and holding all my stuff for me. Amazing! Thank you so much for all of you. And yeah, that's city nightlife. Beautiful, right? I recommend everyone to come by and see this. My last day here. Very sad to leave tomorrow. I had a really great time, and I recommend everyone to come by.